Hey guys, Marshall from Going Gear Shot Show 2017 in Las Vegas here with Philip from Hazard 4. How's it going, man? Good, Marshall. Good to have you by. Yeah, absolutely. So if you are watching this right when this video is released, you're going to go on our website and you're going to look for Hazard 4 and you're going to find nothing. But if you wait about a month or so, we will have it on the site. So just keep that in mind when you're watching the video. So you want to show us some new products? Yeah, we've actually got quite a lot, um, probably more to cover than we can. So we'll just focus on a couple of uh, items here. Yeah, so this uh, Plan B model here that uh, we've been known for for many years, it needed a bit of an update, so this is now going to be uh, known as the Plan B Classic. And then this is the Plan B 17 for uh, 2017, and we're modernizing it by having this uh, shell uh, like we had on some of the other uh, packs that we've done in the, in the past. And uh, the Velcro that was here has been moved down and enlarged, and it has some of the, the laser cut here to uh, allow for mounting smaller accessories and just overall give it a, a reface. So you're gonna have a slightly less expensive option now or for people who don't want the shell and a slightly uh, fancier option or people who want that protection for gear or batteries or whatever. What kind of organization do you have on the inside of that one? Um, well, inside it's uh, got, um, it's the same as, uh, as this guy here that can open more easily. And it has the, um, all of our packs, pretty much all of them, have the interior lined with this Velcro type material. So it comes with one divider pad, but you can put you know, 10 pads if you wanted to to make it into a medical kit or put two or three to divide uh, sections. Uh, it also usually has uh, pockets for, uh, with zippers, uh, with mesh. Most of our packs have stuff like, like that. The um, exterior, of course, you've got pockets and all of our bags that have the thermoform back over here. It's not just to give it structure and to you know, keep you dry. There's usually a compartment in the back that'll have uh, Velcro in it to be able to put uh, holsters that we make or to put uh, tablets or computers. You know, however big the bag is, that's how big the capacity is to, to take electronics. And uh, this bag here, uh, it's cool being a, a single strap. You can manipulate it front to back. But for years, people have asked us to make just a backpack version. And if we walk over here, I'll show you uh, how we've uh, tried to accommodate them. So this pack here is the same pack, except it has the two straps, has the thermoform back, everything else is the same, but it actually wears like a backpack, but it does get down to that narrow width. And we made it just a touch wider on this model to accommodate some uh, different tablets that were just a little bit too wide for the, the previous one. So that's the, the Plan B, and this one we're calling the Plan C, of course. And uh, same feature set, just in two straps. And uh, as we were talking about these shells, we uh, kind of decided to take that program uh, to another level, and I'll direct you to this pack here, um, which the entire pack is made out of a shell. Uh, so we wanted to make something that was really kind of progressive and uh, come up with something that was really different from what everybody else was doing in the, in the industry. And um, this obviously is very protective having a shell. It gives a structure to everything. And uh, this is designated a photo backpack, which I'll show you, uh, you know, inside where that comes in. But the uh, thing was for years we said, well, if we do shell packs or shell luggage, we lose all the modularity because you can't really, you know, sew Velcro to it, Molly. If it has Molly, you can't dig your fingers in behind. And we were thinking, how do you add something to it and, and keep it a modular system? So we des designed uh, this hardware system, which you see on the outside. Uh, it, there are different parts that can be used in it. Um, we've always had these grommets on a lot of the shells, and that's how this works, is these grommets and screws, and then you can attach the, the uh, accessories, which we call the hard point system. It's a new patented system we came up with. They just go in with a couple of screws, and then the screws are covered with little rubber caps so that you won't hurt yourself or your gear inside or out, and they're soft, they're rubber so that if you hit that against your car or put it against a good table, it isn't gonna gouge it. Um, that was something that took a while to figure out how to do a hardware. Well, you don't make it hard, you make it semi-hard. Semi and uh, uses for something like that would be to attach carabiners, to put um, shock cord, then you can put a jacket or something behind it, uh, or we can attach panels, like let's say a Velcro panel, Molly panel, or a panel with a pocket in it, and keep building on top of the, the pack that way. And in this uh, case, we actually even have lights as a prototype product uh, because uh, to some extent we wanted to actually pitch this to motorcycle riders. This kind of shell pack is something that works well because it doesn't ruffle around and it's not a safety hazard, it's very aerodynamic and then it was a perfect place to put signals, you know, orange or red or white like this so you'd be visible on the road. And uh, we've also been suggested that if we made these in IR, infrared, then troops could use them. You could have different patterns on the bag, you know, alpha team, 
Charlie team, whatever, and different patterns. And then friendly forces with night vision could actually identify a bunch of guys by their, by their signature. So I'll show you inside. Just drop the shell. And you'll see how the, this has a gusset here that can also be put up to keep this from dropping or let it drop. So that's the inside of that hardware system. So this attaches here? Yeah, so they have Velcro and they would attach these wings and keep it sort of upright. But for demonstration, we drop it so we can get in here. And the insides of all these shells are lined with this fuzzy material as well, so you can attach patches, holsters, uh, further accessories. And then this is the inside of the, that hardware. So these loops are all interchangeable. You could put a zigzag of uh, paracord or something in here as well, or put our retractable uh, kind of gear keepers that we have, and you can have a wallet fly back into the pack. This is like an admin area, a laptop area in here. And I mentioned it's a photo pack, so I'll show you where that comes in beyond being really protective. It actually has a full organizer for gear like what you guys are shooting with. And we sized this one specifically for like the mirrorless systems. So you could put a, even a couple of bodies for like a Sony a, A7S, small lenses. And these days you could put a Mavic Pro drone, uh, some of its batteries, extra propellers and filters all into one backpack. And uh, it's also you know padded all the way around. And obviously the shell itself uh, keeps everything nice and nice and well protected. And there's even one more laptop compartment in the back because that might be for a concealed carry weapon, or it could be for a tablet, or it could be for literature or something like that. And um, this is hopefully going to spawn a family of gear. I'll actually show you one last one, uh, which is over here. And uh, it's uh, rolling luggage. So that a heavy load of gear like this, as opposed to carrying this on a shoulder or on a back, has you know wheels. And most places, a lot of guys shoot, whether it's a convention like this or whether it's a government conference or something or even a wedding, uh, you know, they're not on rough ground or hiking with everything, so you don't have to have everything on your shoulder. You can save your strength for the, the camera. And it's built in a similar way that we've got the, the padded section here for the laptops and administration stuff, which I showed you on the pack. And then this one also, like on the pack, has a full organizer for, for photography gear. And it lets you roll it around through airports. And it is sized for the maximum size uh, the TSA will allow so you can bring it on board and make sure all your most expensive gear is with you when you arrive for, for the event that you're shooting. Um, and we've know, been known to you know, send things out to war zones for correspondence and that kind of thing, so we've got a, a pretty good amount of experience with what works and doesn't work in really extreme environments. Very cool. I'm excited about those. Looks like you have a uh, gray man looking pack over there too. Yeah, we do. Um, so for a few years we've had these sling packs like this one which are made to either take an SBR, short barreled rifle, uh, bullpup or something like that, or a broken down um, you know, M4 sized gun, which needs to go down into two pieces. But they're still fairly overt looking. They have molly, they have uh, Velcro on the outside, and people have been asking us, especially like undercover police, et cetera, for something that would blend in more. So we came up with this, as you mentioned, a, a gray man line. And um, we did a gray fabric, which is also a sort of textured, and it looks more like a suit almost, as opposed to just even a sport gray. And we took off all molly, all Velcro externally, which actually makes the bag less uh, expensive on top of being less noticeable. The zippers are sort of a more civilian style. It's lighter, and the fabric is sort of even friendlier to the skin. But inside, we still have the, the thermoform system, so it allows uh, for putting hydration, for putting uh, concealed carry weapons in the Velcro system holsters that we make. And out here, um, in case somebody does still want to use patches or some sort of uh, agency ID, these strips that uh, you see on the outside actually peel back and you can remove it and put a, a bunch of patches or put a sheriff's badge or something and have it ready to be revealed um, in some sort of a situation in a stakeout or something if it, if it comes to it. Does that come completely off? It does, yeah. We like to just keep it on there, but it can uh, come off and stick into one of the Velcro parts inside so it's not bothering you and, and getting in the way. So it's completely concealed otherwise. And are you going to be doing this style across the line? Uh, right now we have four or five of these. So uh, most likely they'll be extended to most things because most things we have are pretty tactical looking. And a lot of people like the internal features of that, but they don't want to stand out that way. Especially these days, police and agencies around the world are getting more sort of clued into people that maybe look a little bit you know, too extreme to be in a museum or something. So you don't want to attract that attention. And maybe you run the, the gray man line in that situation. So that's the, the main stuff we've got uh, going on for the year. A new booth, some new uh, promotional materials. So stay tuned and check out the website to uh, see what else we've got going on. Awesome. Thanks for your time. Thanks so much.